How do you define success? <laughs> I define success as doing what God wants you to do. Because my role models are in the Bible and a lot of them didn't have money. A lot of them forsook their families just to preach the gospel and follow the calling that God had on their life. My version of success is being in God's perfect will. So that's my version of success. It's not about how much money we have, although I make money and though I provide, but just being the man that God created me to be. And the only way I'm gonna be able to do that, I heard you say you were working on your relationship with God. So it's to continue working on it, working out that salvation with fear and trembling all the days of your life. We're not gonna be perfect, but we can get as close to God as possible before we finally see him on that last day. Straight bars. What's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Unadulterated Truth. I'm your host, Minister Rich. I'll be back right after I hit you with this intro. Now let me tell you about this certain king. Yeah. Let me get you out that mindset that you a victim. Yeah. Let me rewire your thoughts just for staying. Let me show you the difference between religion and the king. Boy, I'm talking about a different gut. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. And we're just going to be real quick. We're going to be real quick of understanding that this is what success is. This is what it is to be successful as a man, as a man in Christ. And you don't really see this. We don't get to see this much, but I just want to applaud men who have who have went beyond the norm of what it is to be successful. And that doesn't state the fact that he that doesn't take away the fact that he was getting his money up. They don't take the fact that he was getting his bag. They don't take the fact that he was he was building his business and and doing whatever he needed to do to be here on earth. But his true success was in Christ. His source was the king and his resources is what of this world. So we have to come into alignment with that, fellas. We have to come with the understanding of knowing that Jesus Christ is what it is to be truly successful to trust in the Lord with all of thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding and the Father will direct thy paths. The Father will give us success. For what it says in one of my favorite scriptures, what's that Matthew 6, 33, when he said that seek the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all these other things will be added on. Not the way that the world tell us men on how to be successful, but the way that God told us to be successful, we don't supposed to be living our life, teaching our children that that true success relies or or is is, is found in grain or the, the gold or the silver. But it's found in that word It's found seeking the kingdom It's found seeking your purpose and it's found in your purpose of what God has called you to do. And your purpose is going in and true success lies in how we walk in obedience with God, how we walk, how we begin to live as a citizen here on earth, as God called us to be. And that's true succession. So forget what the world say, man. Forget all that foolishness about true succession is how big your house is or how big your account is or how big your status is or how big um your 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 following is that's that's the that's the added on and we don't supposed to seek the added on seek the kingdom seek its righteousness and everything else will be added so i want to applaud a man who's walking in the structure of knowing that their true succession relies in Yeshua, Jesus the Christ. And I applaud that. I applaud every female. I applaud every male. I applaud every child. I was about to say I applaud every animal, but <laughs> I applaud every animal that obey their master in their home. But the true succession, to be truly successful, is to be truly in Christ. And that's what it is. Because we got to remember, y'all, all this other stuff is going to fade. All this other stuff is gonna is gonna be turned to dust. All this other stuff is gonna collapse. We headed for a global financial collapse right now. So anybody who mindset is 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 money, anybody whose whose goal is money, anybody whose God is money, you are bound to collapse with it. 
And so it's best to have your 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 goals, your real your real intentions in that word. It's best to have your real intentions seeking on the king and having him your priority because he said everything but his word will pass away. And only those who are in his word will forever be living in eternity with his word, with him. Everything else is going to fade off. So I would never say, I would never say, don't achieve certain things. Don't go and protect and, and get the things that you may want. But don't make that priority. Don't make that king over your life. Don't make that ruler. Don't make that source. Your source is heaven. Your source is the father. The rest of this is a resource. And that's a mentality that we all have to have to pick up. That's a mentality that we all have to renew and become to realize that our source in every area of my life is the father in heaven. So yeah, like I said, I applaud that man. And it's time to realize that that's the source of everything we do. That's true success. So I love y'all. This was quick, but I wanted to react to that video, but I love y'all. I want to give a shout out to our leaders, apostle and prophet is God for giving us this platform through Jesus to, for us to, to give the unadulterated truth that real success lies in Christ bars. So let's, let's, let's realize that. Let's make that our goal. Let's teach that to our children. Let's lead our homes that way. Let's build our companies that way and watch how we truly succeed in the spirit realm. All right, y'all love y'all. And as always, let's get it. Wait, oh, wait a minute, right. steady represent Boom. Kingdom life we living, yeah. many souls we winning Swim. I know that we got it, know where we going We got it on lock, it's alright Know that he got us, taking us further than any place of your heart desire